Yo, what's up guys, it's me, Muesli Fox, and today we're starting movie battles. So, it's going to look like this. I take two movies, say what's great about both of them, and what's not great about both of them. So, in this case, we've got Black Panther and Thor Ragnarok. So, we're going to get into it, and we're going to say maybe a few categories that we're going to describe for each one and how well they do on each category. So... Let's just get into the video and tell me what you think about this. This is a new concept, a new thing for my channel. Remember to like if you like it. And if you don't, just like, but tell me why in the comments down below. And if you're interested and you're new here, remember to subscribe. That'll do me a big favour. Alright, let's just get into the video. Okay, to kick this off, we are going to Thor Ragnarok. Directed by Taika Waititi, this is the third movie in the Thor trilogy. Came out in 2017 and features Chris Hemsworth, Tom Hiddleston, and Kate Blanchett, among others. So, I, there's, there's much that I love about this film. To start with, the good stuff. Here is everything great about Thor Ragnarok. The comedy, to start us off. Such a hilarious film. And I really enjoy it more because of the comedy. Also, the colour scheme is brilliant. The villain, Hela, played by Kate Blanchett, is another brilliant Marvel villain. And I really enjoy that. What I also like is all the action sequences. They're all very well done. As well as just Chris Hemsworth just being a great actor. When it comes to cons, there's not much I dislike about this movie. One thing I would say is that there's not much of an emotional change apart from the comedy and a bit of drama and stuff. There's no, like, sadness or, or like, something that's, like, sad in the film, really. I mean, that would probably even it out a bit more. Also, I would say they didn't include as much of older characters as I would have liked. So, Thor Ragnarok gets a 9.2. Now we have Black Panther, a film directed by Ryan Coogler and came out just before Avengers Infinity War in 2018. This brilliant cast features Chadwick Boseman, Michael B. Jordan, Andy Serkis, Lupita Nyong'o and quite a lot of other brilliant actors. I really, really enjoy this movie, a, re a really great addition to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Black Panther has an incredible cast, so many talented actors and actresses. Next, I would say this film has such an incredible villain in Eric Killmonger. I admire this villain and I think it's a very, very emotional and meaningful villain. Next, I would also say that the setting and scenery of Wakanda is brilliant. I would also say that the action sequences are once again just brilliant. Finally, I also like the tech from Wakanda and the weapons in Wakanda, so I find that very interesting as well. Black Panther has very few cons, and what I would say is that this film has such great pacing throughout and then sort of dips about three quarters through the film and then sort of comes back up again so the pacing isn't always even i would also say that some of the choices with characters could have been done slightly better but otherwise i really enjoyed this movie overall i give black panther a 9.3 that mean black panther just wins by one percent so that's all folks and if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and if you didn't give it a dislike and tell me why in the comments down below and also your personal favourite. So with that said I'd just like to go over what's coming in the future. So we've got animation series called Fantasy Fights where you take two fantastical characters and you fight them but it's in stop motion animation. So that series will be coming to my channel soon. I'd also like to talk about my group channel with my friends called Shady Double XL that will hopefully be coming soon. A link down below and also two of my mem the members' uh, channels links down below as well. So if you're interested in the group channel, we'll be focusing on a lot of different challenges like drawing challenges, gaming challenges, 
and also sports challenges when quarantine's over. So we'd like to see you there. And with all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time. Just quickly before I go, I just want to give a few huge shout outs, especially to 3K Mr. Mango, who is another member of Shady and he is just starting with YouTube or has been doing it for about a month or so, but he needs everyone's help to progress and he's going to be doing a lot of animations and if you're interested, please subscribe to his channel. Next, Danda Sport, a, another channel that I know as I know Dan personally and I think this channel has a lot of potential and I want to help him out as well with his channel growth and my own. We're all trying to grow and progress. So if you want to check that one out, link it's down below. And finally, I just want to give another shout out to another movie channel, Movie Micah. I know lots of you watching probably already subscribed to this channel. Just subscribe to it. It's a great channel, short and snappy, like the content, very good content and I the videos he produces are very, very watchable. I think I've watched all of his videos fully. That's the kind of content you aspire to be like. So if you want to see his content, definitely consider subscribing. Alright, that's all. And I will see you next time. Thank you.